Welcome to the video. Today the Team Wars campaign ends. And my team finished in 15th place. In the new update in Legendary League 1 and 2 now, you get random ancestral cells. A Coralia, a Northberry, and a chest at the end of the season. And it can be the first three ancestors. So I'm going to open this just now and see what I get. Don't know if it's gone into storage or something. There we go. Cool, so 100 feet on Tideborn. I was kind of hoping for Grafani Iron Wings, because it's the one I need to rank up most. I heard there was an update coming where there's more space getting given to you somehow. So I've cleared out a space and I'm going to build mythic habitats and upgrade them and then store them for when there's more space. Also in this video I'm going to rank up three ancestors. Might as well rent the pods for them. I'm going to do a three on Tideborn because I just got it. And I'm two cells away from Robert Oven Shield. So I can get two cells of that in the dungeon today. And then when the one in the first pod's ready, I can rank that to rank four as well. I don't know much about Baba Bashir yet. It does a lot of stamina stuff, like removing stamina and random negative effects and curse. And just now at the weekend, if you've got the treasure caves, during the weekend you can get Ancestral cells and tickets and all that, and a level 12 run. I just managed to complete the treasure caves with about 350 gems or something, but I made 30 gems back from picking. So I've got a rank 3 King Atom Egg from that, but I got it at rank 5. And last time, last week when it was open, I got two rank 3 skid cold eggs and I was mainly doing it to get tickets and that's around the time I got Baba Bashir when I exited it for 5 gems so all these gates for all the different ancestors previous and all that I'm going to save them for the end of the for the end of the season drop a comment how did your team do in the campaign? Yesterday I ranked up Duke Shrimp Wader from 123 all the way up to 150 before a war because those are ones that are getting used a lot in wars um, I would show you in a pod what ones I'm going to rank for wars just now but I've not got any pods just now but Firefull is getting used for a lot of wars and volcanics not volcanic actually krills those from the galactic era is decent for wars just now and fropsy so i'm going to get to hatching the new monsters from pvp i got two tier five eggs if I manage to get 250 cells, I'll be able to craft that. But the one in the middle is from the last season just now. So I'm going to save that for later on. And you can get golden pumpkins to get the golden pumpkin chest in the shop just now. And in the Halloween era saga just now, you can get a golden pumpkin. I'm going to make a video I'll open that soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, hit subscribe for all future regular Monster Legends content, and I'll see you in another video down the line. Until then, take it easy.